Welcome to the next step in your DJ journey, mastering Rekordbox. Rekordbox is a software from Pioneer DJ that helps DJs organize and prepare music for their performances. Rekordbox isn't just a tool, it's your personal music assistant helping you manage your library with precision and ease. In this video, I'm going to tell you about using Rekordbox and how to analyze your music with Rekordbox. First of all, we need to go to uh, browser and download Rekordbox. Rekordbox.com, it's with a K, no C. You go to the website and you click download. It's a free version, you don't need to pay. You agree with the agreement. You click download. It will be downloaded to your computer. So I already downloaded it and I'm not going to do it again, but I will show you the steps. So let's wait, it's coming. After you download the record box, you need to create your account. You create um, your account. Mm. So you install it. You need to agree with everything here. Continue, continue, agree, blah, 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 install. And then you have to install it. So I already have it, that's why I'm gonna stop here and I will show you my record box. After you create an account, you need to open a software. It's usually in LaunchPod or usually in your Finder. You can find it here in Applications, Record, Applications, Record Box, it's this one. You open your software It's a heavy software, that's why it takes a lot of time, takes some time to upload the library and everything. I'm gonna close it. So I already inserted my USB, that's why you can see it here. It has my name. Uh, we already learned how to do playlists in iTunes. Here's your iTunes or music, it doesn't matter. If you have, an, if you have it updated, it's music all your playlists in iTunes and you go to record box and you click on reload this arrow over here you click reload and you reload all your iTunes library to record box you can click on this little arrow and you can see that all my playlists that I have in iTunes uh, in record box right now. Afro, Afro, Afro Deep, here is Deep. So you don't have to um, double your playlist in record box if you have it in iTunes. It's better to have it in iTunes because um, whatever can happen to your record box, or you will lose USB, or you will lose your computer. Um, if something happens like this, you always have your library in iTunes because you have iCloud, right? And you don't need to worry about losing all your music. It's going to be here always. And then you can uh, download Rekordbox again and you can up reload and synchronize all your playlists from iTunes to Rekordbox. You always need to click here, reload. If your record, record box doesn't reload your R library, you need to open iTunes, click, click iTunes, Preferences, Advanced, and you need to check this Share iTunes Library X, XML with other applications. It's very important. If it's unchecked, your record box will not reload your library. Okay. 
So after that, uh, let's do uh, let's do all all the steps that you need to do. For example, you downloaded a song. Mm. You downloaded a song. It's here in your uh, downloads. Next step should be mixed in key. You drag your song to the mixed in key. You should process it. You wait when it will be processed with the, a key and energy level. So it's, it, it processed it. Uh, after that, you take this song and you have to drag it, let's see, for example, here. You drag it to your playlist. Now we have the song, it's right there. After you put it to a playlist that it has to be, you can click here, here, here. You reload your record box, it will update your library. And after that, you need to uh, insert your USB in your computer. If you don't have um, a USB slot in your Mac, you need to buy an adapter from USB-C to USB. Then you click Sync Manager. Uh, it's already checked here. So first you have to check here, synchronize iTunes playlists. You check all playlists that you want to have on your USB. You click here. Okay. You click synchronize playlist with a device. The, your device has to be inserted. Check. You check all playlists that you want to have on your USB and click this one. Okay. Then you can close. It, it, it is removing tracks that I removed from iTunes that I'm not using. That's why it's going to remove 153 songs because I don't like it. I just deleted it. And meanwhile, while it's deleting my songs, it's uploading music to my USB. You can see it's it here, 53%. When it will be done, we can check that all your music is uploaded to USB because it's very important. Sometimes you can put your USB in a DJ equipment and it's empty. That's going to be really embarrassing if you came to the to the gig with uh, an empty USB. You can check it here. You can click here, playlists. Playlists. And you can see it here. So all your, all your playlists are in your USB. It, it's not uploaded yet because it's uploading to my USB, that's why it, it takes some time to open it. Yeah, so all your playlists are here in the USB. I will wait when it's gonna, when it will be done, like 100%. And after that, you have to click here eject USB, remove USB and you can put it to your DJ equipment and enjoy your music library <laughs>